Got him. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's the biggest fish of your life, mate. The this trout. is a 12 pound, 6 ounce wild brown trout. It's the biggest trout I've ever caught. Let me tell you the story of how it happened. First, we need to address the fact that this is a small trout for where it was caught. And yes, it is wild. But that's not the whole story. This system of lakes, rivers and man-made hydro canals is famous for producing some of the world's biggest trout. In 2020, the new IGFA All Tackle World Record Brown Trout, weighing 44 pounds 5 ounces, was landed here. That dwarfs my trout, and there are many 20 to 30 pound browns and rainbows in this system. While the fish are wild, how they get that big is up for some debate. Some say they are all pellet heads slowly growing to that size through feeds spilled from the salmon farms that dot the canals. The more generally accepted theory, it seems, is that it's a mix of the salmon feed and a highly productive and stable ecosystem provided by the canals and lakes. However it may be, the fish are enormous, wild, and difficult to catch with a fly rod. The canals are deep and fast, and when we were there in winter, they were milky from the rain and snow melt. Conditions were generally atrocious, to say the least. We weren't originally planning to spend more than a couple of days on the canals targeting these big fish. But in the end, that was not our decision. High country is still on high alert tonight as rising rivers pose another flooding threat. The biggest floods the region had seen for some time locked us in. So we had to make the most of it. That is where the adventure begins. It was overcast, cold, wet and windy, and we were clueless but optimistic. After a long drive, the weather at spot one was so bad, we just got back in the car and drove off. I didn't even risk taking the camera out. At spot two, Simon tried to swing and I tried to strip streamers on a sinking line. That out, that it sit in the water, float up from the bottom, and then very slowly retrieve it. It's basically a lake now, so we'll try that for a little bit, and then we might move on to somewhere else. Anyway, it's cold, it's freezing, it's uh, not great weather, but we'll soldier on. We were hoping to be able to sight fish and see some fish, but in these conditions, it's it's impossible. It's too much glare on the water and ruffling of the of the uh, water with the wind, so. Yeah, we'll keep on going and see if we can find a fish. We got nothing apart from being cold and wet, but we persisted unrealistically long until we were finally driven off by the weather. Oh, thunder. That doesn't sound nice. Spot three changed the game. A bit of flow here. This has flow, yeah. Those are big fish. They are big, big fish. They're just cruising, eh? They're just cruising. Oh, that big. Do you want to watch them uh, run and get a rod? Yeah, go run and get a rod. First fish seen. It's coming down. Big fish, big fish coming down. Crouch down. You'll see it about cast now. Three, four rodlings cast now. Right on the edge, right on the edge. Coming towards you. You're looking more right on the edge. Two fish, two fish right on the edge. Simon, look right. I can see it. Oh, you see them, you see them. There's a big fish, man. Sorry, I got a bit excited. Coming back on the edge. See the wake.
Coming right towards you. Right past you. Our initial efforts at these big fish were clumsy and uncoordinated to say the least. But we had found a spot with huge trout. We have a better idea of where they are now and uh, a bit of orientation mainly today to get our head around where what's, what is and what's going on. So tomorrow we have a plan. It's still raining tomorrow all day, but it's supposed to clear, clear up a little bit. So hopefully it gets a bit better. So really just one, one big fish each and that would be awesome. Well, if we get it, that'd be awesome. Let's see. Okay, so the plan, Mr. Simon? The plan is hopefully be able to spot some big fish like yesterday and put a little damsel pattern over their head. And we've got a ridiculously monster long 18 foot leader with we a 5x, of a 2x, 15 foot 2x tapered leader. and Very beautiful to cast. Yeah, we'll see how. I mean, no fly happens. line. <laughs> no fly line. Nothing but leader. Okay. So I'm going to stay up and spot and Simon's going to go down and we'll work it that way. Uh, I've lost sight of it. It's deeper though. Just cast out and let it sit. I can't see it at the moment. It was... I just saw the shape coming downstream and I haven't picked it up again yet. It's about 20 meters going upstream on the drop off. Ah, oh, you they they came up they came from behind you that's the thing. They came from behind again. But they'll they'll come back downstream I'm sure. And it's tricky because we can't cover both directions you see. Yeah, well, it's not it's not the same fish obviously that changed it but a, a, smish, a fish chased it. Yeah. A small one. We spent the morning figuring out what worked and what didn't. Communication needed work, as well as presentation and, well, a whole lot of other things. But we were making progress. Yeah, it so looks like two fish there. There's potentially one further back as well. Yeah, it's the right length. But I, d I don't think you're getting deep enough. That's my worry. Is that they're sitting quite deep. Simon got a fish. I don't know what happened. Oh my god, well, how did that happen? I started moving. Simon stopped moving, cast, and seconds later he got a fish. Yeah, I saw I fixed it, I was sure it was a fish, and I cast it in front of it. That's awesome. And I saw it turn. Woohoo! Woo! You just keep that on. I sort out the net. It seems like he wants to come in already. I slip on these rocks. I waited on the hooks there. You go up high and uh. Yeah, mate, look. Ready? Okay. I'll put the camera down for this. Okay. Oh, come on. Yes! 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 Here we Simon, go. you're the man! That's my fish one! You're the man! Woo. Side fish! Loving it! Nice! Oh, oh. oh that colour! <laughs> I just saw that colour! He's not yeah, a canal awesome. monster, but he's a beauty! Yeah, not a canal monster, but definitely very oh, cool! Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, and I saw, I saw the colour just slipping out from the side, and I was like, should I have a cast? Should I have a cast? And I was like, yep! Awesome! Oh. Awesome! And awesome. when I saw him turn, I knew I had him! So. And on my little double bead damsel. <laughs> my Rupert Kai 2 fly. Cool, Love it. okay. Well, it's been such hard work for to get this fish. Doesn't matter that it's not a monster. Yep, just lift him. Yeah. Cool, beautiful fish. Just. Cool. Awesome. 
Nice work, <laughs> mate. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. on the board here. Tight fist. Doesn't matter that it's that, oh. not that canal big one, oh, but that's pretty it. cool. Big boy's here to come. It's only in the morning and we've already landed a fish. So that's the way. That's awesome. They've been tough. They've been coming. Every time we've been stalking, they've been coming from behind us. We yep. turn around, they yeah. come from behind us. So well, we, this one was this one just sitting behind that rock. I, I just saw slowly. Like, all cruising. I could see was a patch of slightly orange moving up, moving up, moving oh, up, awesome. and I just crept and I popped it, and I saw him turn, saw the mouth open, waited, 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 strike. Oh, perfect hook set. Awesome. Just, I was just I was looking ahead. I didn't hear you call it, and I was like, "Shucks, he's hooked up." It's awesome. Oh man. Oh, cool. Uh, after yesterday, we had the most atrocious weather. Yeah. yeah. It was peeing down all day. There were slips coming down. The roads yeah. closed today, and you can yeah. see today is hardly easy. It's not yeah. ideal spotting conditions, but there's yeah. some fish here, and yeah, we've seen a few fish now. Chances. So just keep doing, plugging just away at it. Keep and doing what we're yeah. doing, and have yeah. some fun and get some fish hopefully oh awesome that's just so good to see you get a fish that's oh, awesome man. Oh, past the big rock right in front of you almost now passing you right in front of you simon's fish gave us hope so we persisted and persisted so yeah we thought it was getting better eh and now it started snowing and now it's snowing so the plan is to ambush the fish and sort of one of us stay up to watch one stay down and not move too much this time. Now of course no fish are coming and we haven't seen any crews up here so we'll probably move on very soon. Johan coming right to left. Yep, go see him, see them. Oh I chased it, ate it. One of them ate it. Do you pull it out of its mouth? Yep. Oh bugger. Well a bit of excitement today at least. Simon got a fish and plenty of fish that we sighted and cast at. A bit of excitement. We're gonna call it a day probably now and maybe do a night fish. We'll see. And uh, otherwise we'll start again tomorrow. Hopefully in better weather. And hopefully this calmness and uh, lack of rain lasts till tomorrow. So a few very exciting fish today. So that was pretty good. See you as soon as we fish again. Only making breakfast, he's making oats on the stove, the good old fashioned way. Not in the microwave though, I do it. All right, sticky pan oats. Excellent. The worst is washing the pan. The banana is a little bit uh, fresh. Oh, that one looks like a smiley face. Well, this seems awfully familiar, uh, but we've we've come up with a new motto today. Carpe truta. Carpe truta. We have no idea if that's correct Latin, but we are going to seize the trout. Seize the trout. Seize the trout. Get that big trout, and uh, yeah, the plan this morning is pretty much the same as yesterday. Spot fish, but we've got two rods set up. Uh, we've got the I've got the euro rod. I've got some stuff set up there. But we've got Simon didn't bring a floating line. Because only he was brought just, switch rods. He only brought his swinging gear. He's like, I'm going to swing everything. Like, and now yep. we're stuck fishing the canals for... <laughs> yep, the rivers have blown their banks. The rods are closed, so... And he's got three swinging rods or something. Yep. <laughs> so, I had swinging on my mind. So, yeah. So our swinging plans got a bit cancelled. So we are going to get these canal trout. And uh, let's get on to them. Carpe truta. Carpe truta. That's probably so wrong. I know. <laughs> we're, 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 we're sticking with it. Really running, and uh, but water's a bit more milky. Uh, Simon says that might work in our favour today. But visibility is not nearly as good. Let's see what happens. Our morning efforts to seize the trout were thwarted by milky runoff and bad visibility, so we moved around trying some other spots. Ultimately, this was a bit of a waste of the day as the visibility was worse elsewhere and we couldn't find any fish. So we headed back to our trusty spot on the high banks where we spotted something from the car. Well, I don't know if this can come out on camera but there is an enormous fish there. It's a little bit deeper but you should be able to see it. Sitting their nose down. Two big fish there now. Another one coming up, that's a huge fish too. 
Now Whitney has plays the first one though. No. But he's big. Okay. Alright, Johan's making his way down to a couple of huge fish we spotted. Going very quietly. Is that too close? They are very doggo though. Got him! Got him! Woo! Got him! <laughs> That's insane! That's insane, Johan! Little... Whoa, whoa. Little nymphs. Only got three eggs on. Little Just going to be patient. On the big one's still there! The biggest one st was still sitting there! We got the net? Yeah. 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 Okay. We gotta right. just land this fish, Simon. This is. You don't need a hurry, mate. I think you've got a bit while to go now. Oh my god. This is the biggest so, fish I've ever hooked, so. So, did you get the second one that cruised up to it? Yeah, this one uh, must be the one that cruised up to it. Yeah, because the other one was still sitting there when I came down. I almost should have brought my rod and had a go at him. Oh my god. This is terrifying, absolutely terrifying. I know. How does he feel? He's not going nuts yet, and it's, I'm just gonna just watch be those patient. Boulders in front, mate. Might not have woken up yet. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. They looked a bit lethargic, though. Yeah. I'm, I'm more worried about your netting. No, I don't worry. My netting's good, mate. You gotta need two hands for netting. I know. I'm going to put the camera down, all right? Yeah. And extend that handle. You've got to get him from the front too, okay? Because yeah, there's two nymphs, so we don't want to hook the one nymph. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of woken up now. Johan's so nervous. I am super nervous. And he's kind of definitely woken up now. He's kind of running out now though. He's definitely woken up. Pole that there. pole is going to be a problem. And it feels like he's... Something's, something's gone... He's gone nuts now suddenly. I wonder if he... Kind of, kind of wrapped or something. I think it's all better again. I might be playing him a bit lightly as well. It keeps going. I just want to bring him up away from that pole because he's going to that pole. The ridiculous thing is, we gave him something again. Yeah. I don't like that thrashing. Okay. I'm going to try and keep him up. Got him. Yeah! Oh, shit, the net! The net broke, bro, the net bent! Oh, that's a huge fish! Oh my god, that's the biggest fish of your life, mate. The biggest trout oh of your life. Oh my god. Woo. Oh my god, he took the flashback pheasant tail, size 16. 16. Yes, double figures. 13. 13 13.5. 13.8. 13. 13.8. Okay. I thought he would have been there in chaos. <laughs> That's awesome, I'm a little sore by the net, but I don't think the net's that much. What a fish. Oh, what a fish. That is redemption. <laughs> That's what we wanted. Let's get him back in the water as quick as possible. Oh my god, 13 pounds. Fish of a lifetime. <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, we did it. My goodness.
that was crazy. It's been a very tough three days now. And when it, to be honest, after this whole South Island trip, it's my only my second fish, but that made the trip. You did it. It's my first double figure fish, and it was sight fished off the edge uh, with a size 16 pheasant, flashback pheasant tail. Hook That's held. crazy, eh? Yeah, hook held, yeah. didn't straighten, got it in. We bent the net. Bent the net, picking it up. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Pretty cool though. Now we got thunder in now the we background. Need to get thunder in the background. Hopefully that doesn't get too bad. <laughs> I'm not a big fan. Turn. I'm not a big fan of thunder, <laughs> but I will stick it out for Simon. Hopefully I don't get it electrocuted. <laughs> um, but yeah, pretty cool. Let's get Simon one now. Big one. 30 pound. 40. Carpe truta. Carpe truta. Inside coming fast, two fish. You see them? They must be passing you about now. I've been trying hard to get Simon a fish. Further up, further up. Four, three rodlings, two boulders in the water. It was in between those two when I last saw it. The fish were not wanting to play along. The light faded and Simon was still without his big fish. It is morning time. We got a morning flood tide. Okay, it's another morning. We're excited. Got that big fish yesterday and Absolutely. now Simon's got to get one. Absolutely. It's the day. We Carpe finally truta. got the weather. Carpe truta. Carpe truta. <laughs> got to seize the, seize the trout. Seize the trout. Okay. Whew. Get some stuff out of there. I mean, We're a I little think, Frenchy. I think just tr change frequently and try different yeah. things. Yeah. Spotting off this high bank. And Simon's just spotted a fish. Facing the same weird ass way as yesterday. Same spot too? Yeah, same spot. You're going to have to try and find it there, Simon. I, I've lost sight of it. I found it, but it's going into the sun and I've lost it. Simon's just stalking his way up along the edges. You can see closer in. Those 15 foot leaders are a bit of a pain to cast. But essential and this sort of stuff. Fish eat it. Spooked him. Yeah, it's hard, eh? Looks like good cast. Okay, so we're giving those fish on the lake edge a break. Come up to the canals and we're just going to be egg rolling with fly rods. I've just got the Euro set up with massive split shot droppers. We'll add some more if we need to. And what we're doing is what Simon's doing, casting it out and just walking it along the edge. We can't get quite as deep as the others, but let's give it a go and see what we can get. Well, it's a bit frustrating. We're obviously not set up correctly for egg rolling. We're not getting far enough down. And uh, yeah, just not getting any fish, although everyone around us is looking stuff. We're going to move spots and try on the other side. Apparently the channel's a bit closer there, so see. We're getting down to the bottom. We just need to get down to the bottom in the right place, I don't think. So anyway, <laughs> interesting uh, trying this. We should have been better armed with spin rods and stuff, but that's uh, not what we came to do, but we are getting a bit des desperate, so <laughs> anyway. Hopefully we can get a fish and then we'll finish off with a bit of sight fishing again this afternoon. See if we can get another fish for Simon. Simon! I got a fish but I've got a major tangle. I need help. Oh, it's tiny, it's okay. I can't get a net out of my back now. So a tiny little rainbow. So it's actually tangled up in the fly song behind. And that is it there. There we go. Small rainbow trout. Still haven't got you your fish, mate. What's that? Still haven't got you your fish yet. No. no Getting no. a bit desperate now. Yes, we're going to have a couple, couple <laughs> more shots. Been a hard day egg roll. <laughs> yeah. Tiring walking up and down and catching nothing. <laughs> yeah. 
watching everybody else catch stuff. But yeah, you know. I gave it a go anyway. <laughs> we did. It was kind of like surf casting with a fly rod, but. Yeah. Well, last chance night fishing. Gotta go and get another fish. Let's hope we can get one. Last. What are you gonna try swimming? Last ditch. I really don't know. Just something. Choices, eh? Yeah. Oh, you gotta get that fish. I really would love a fish. Okay, we got a fish. I'm holding the GoPro under my chin. Simon's going to get the net. I know I'm with a fish. Here we go. The brownie. Finally. Yes. There we go. Night fishing. Uh, it took the uh, Lumo. Took the Lumo? Yeah. So Lumo doll. The uh, whole browns will take the Lumo doll, eh? Yep, there we go. Oh, nice. Yep, Lumo doll right in there. Right on the edge, right as I stripped it back. Oh, really? Yep. There we go. Beautiful, Beautiful. fish there, awesome. Not huge, but <laughs> it's been hard work Good with start. fish. Good start, yep. That's awesome. Here we go. Oh, cool. How awesome is that? It's fully awesome. We're having a last ditch, two, two hours, hours to get time in a fish. Before and he sits in a hotel room for yeah, 24 hours and does nothing because he flights. Cancels flights, but. Yep. Yeah, yeah let's These hope we can get you that fish, mate. Big white coming, eh? Had a look. We're literally running now to get one more pass. One more pass. Because we've got one more go. Just half an hour left. So fishing's the best we've had in all these fish days. Sitting. Beautiful weather. Fish are sitting. And we've got no time. We've got no time. Oh. It's been a bloody tough Love job this game. But yeah, we. We're giving it our all, <laughs> everything to the last minute. So, get Simon that fish, fingers crossed for us. Time ran out in the end, and it just didn't work out for Simon this time. If you enjoy my videos and want to see more, check out the channel memberships. Otherwise, enjoy this video next, you'll love it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.